The foundation stone was laid in 1914 and completed in 1917 and we're open as a community facility with hot baths uh, and three swimming pools ever since. Moving on through a massive amount of history up until 2001 was when the council decided that they were past their sell-by sell date and that the, they should be closed whilst new facilities, as they called them, were built at Bella Houston and Gorbals. On the announcement of the closure, the community came together considerably, starting with the Kingston Swimming Club parents. Uh, and I was a member of that group with two children swimming in the pool at the time. That campaign began in March 2001. It led to the occupation of the baths for five months after that, until the occupiers were thrown out. For three, four years after that, the council didn't say anything about what they were doing until eventually they said they were putting them on the open market for anyone interested. Fortunately, Historic Scotland stepped in then and said, no, you can't do that unless you have uh, made an offer to anyone who is interested in returning the facility to swimming baths. So we came in very quickly then, set ourselves up not as a campaigning group, though we still campaign as a trust, uh, as the Govan Hill Baths Community Trust in 2005. We've grown and grown. 2005 to two, it took us five years to get back in the baths. It has to be said that the council were, at the end of the day, after the troubles of the occupation and disagreements have been supportive in that regard. And then in the last three years or so, we've gradually been building what we call a health and wellbeing centre, which takes in education, uh, learning and occupational skills, all aspects of the arts. And we've recently teamed up with the uh, Strathclyde Theatre Group, which is now the Govan Hill Theatre Group and they operate in tandem with us and there's been a number of highly prestigious productions. The regeneration of Govan Hill is going forward at a pace. It's nowhere near what it ought to be, but there are major steps forward in housing, uh, many, many attempts to get more young people involved in activities. In all of our studies over the years, when the baths were closed, Something like 70% of people who said they used to swim in Govan Hill Baths when it was open have stopped swimming altogether. The demand which is constant at our doorway is when, is when are the baths going to open again? And that's the main service it will provide. But in building a bigger platform for more activity, we think we've, you know, we're moving into a new era of these baths. I could never have dreamed in 2001 when I was sitting outside on the picket line of Governor Baths after we'd got a team occupying the place and we were outside for six months, I would never have dreamed that we'd be, we would be where we are now. The building is now busy and buzzing on a regular basis. Optimism comes out of the fact not just at a personal level of a, a dream is being realised, but on the fact that uh, so many different groups are able to use the building are using the building and quite clearly this is just for starters. No group gets where it wants to get without overcoming the various challenges that come along. We think we're ready for them and we think we've overcome most of them.